Hello everyone and welcome. This video will show you some of the really cool UI features in Anno 1800 that you probably don't know about. Stay tuned, it's a short video, so stick around. In regards to the warehouse and transferring goods from your ship to the warehouse, most of you already know to click on the transfer menu here and then you can transfer goods. There's another way you can do that and actually you can just drag the goods to your warehouse. It's a lot faster that way, you don't have to navigate to too many menus. Just make sure your ship is within the proximity of the warehouse. When you click on the warehouse, you can also go into the trade history. This allows you to see what's being sold, what you're making, and the time. Now let's say you have a building that is out of warehouse range, and it says no warehouse even though there is a building here. And if you just notice our service area is just so close to the warehouse, instead of building another warehouse, what you can do is upgrade your road into paved street and just like that now there's a warehouse in range we no longer get the error no warehouse in range moving on to the infrastructures like many players what you're probably doing is clicking on each individual house to see their needs and their happiness which takes a lot of clicks to click all over the place however if you use the marketplace you can see at very quick glance within half a second what everything is missing so Within two seconds, you can see that you're missing beer, you can miss in snaps, and you're missing fur coats. And get right on it into order to create more. No. Yes, yes, yes. In regards to moving your buildings around, what you most likely are doing is clicking on relocate and then move in the buildings. There's actually another way to do that. So click on one building and then drag it again to move it wherever you want to move it. You can also press the M key on your keyboard, but that way is still a little bit slower. Now moving on to the mini-maps. In the beginning of the game, you click on these icons, it will take you directly to where the resource is. Click on the clay deposit, it will rotate, click on the iron, it jumps to the iron, and so on and so forth. You can also rename your city here by clicking on it and then just change it to new city. And if you want to change, go into a new world, Instead of clicking the spacebar, which has a long animation and going to here, just click on this little world map and change around to a different world. Just like that. Now in regards to working conditions, if you set a working condition and now you want to change it, what you can do is press the X button, but instead of doing that, which is a very small little hitbox for you to hit, you can right click on it and it cancels it out. So there are two ways to do that. Also, if you're pressing the X button to get out of a menu, pressing it like this, which takes a long time because you have to move your mouse cursor, what you can do instead is just press the escape key on your keyboard. This saves you a lot of time if you do this hundreds of times. And that's it for the short video. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.